All right, well, I am in Denison, Texas. It's a city of about 25,000 people, just uh, south of the Oklahoma border. I mean, just south, maybe 10 miles. I've always found this to be a pretty interesting city, so here I am. Dwight D. Eisenhower, our 34th president, was born right here. And um, Doc Holliday, he had his dental offices here before he went to Arizona. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm just checking out this old grand hotel. It's in complete disrepair. It's kind of sad. Take a look up here, huh? I bet that was a really nice hotel back in the day. But sadly, yeah, sadly it sits empty now. A grand presence, the door to the hotel says. Let's go look at the inside here. Yeah, it's just gutted right now. Maybe they're gonna do something with it. It's a damn shame for it to sit here empty. The tallest building in this small city. Let me back up a little. Really hate to see this. Yeah, it looks like it was built in 1924. So it's almost 100 years old. This is Dwight D. Eisenhower himself, one of his famous sayings. What counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Yeah, true words have never been spoken, right? I've got another one over here. Looks like a Tuskegee Airman. Yeah. Pretty nice uh, mural there. It's nice that they are honoring him this way. Denison Music Alley, it says. Hmm. I'm taking a look at it. Well, as are you. Both directions. Not really seeing any reason for it to be called that. Huh. All right, I'm in the principal area of downtown Denison. And it's quaint. I've always thought so. I've driven through it a few times. Always uh, love the old buildings. Late 1800s, early 1900s. And they've done a good job of keeping them in pretty good shape. It's really quiet. Uh, it's a Saturday, 12.30 in the afternoon, and um, it's hot. It's 101, 102 degrees here right now. A lot of people don't like that kind of heat. It doesn't bother me. I guess I'm just used to it. I've lived in Texas for so long. Looks like there's an uh, interesting mural over here though. Let's go take a look. Ashburn's ice cream. Always good. I bet it was too. That's really old. You, probably 1900s. Uh, the building's not an ice cream shop anymore. I kind of wouldn't mind having a beer, but I have yet to see a pub of any kind down here. They've got this Watson's uh, Hamburgers, which is a classic uh, car hop style restaurant, burger restaurant. I've seen a couple coffee shops. Yeah, but that's it. Anyway, I'm going to continue down this main street for a bit, see if there's anything here. 
and then go over to Dwight D. Eisenhower's birth home and as usual explore some of the neighborhoods. That looks like an old theater across the street. It's a pretty old building too. I don't think it's open. Yeah, I'm about uh, an hour north of the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. Itself is growing rapidly, very fast. Dallas-Fort Worth metro was uh, the fastest growing numerically between 2010 and 2020. And last year, it was uh, also the fastest growing numerically. Well over 100,000 people moved into DFW in 2021, but we're far enough north where that ever-expanding metropolitan area has not swallowed up yet. It's not gotten here yet. It will eventually, but right now, yeah, Denison is much the same as it was in 1950. It's like uh, stepping back in time, you know? Another 10 years, it will probably be gone. Well, now that's not something you see every day. Retro Robs. Looks like he's got some real cool stuff in here. You know, this Bert and Ernie, even though they are in rough condition. A couple things outside, but alas, it's closed. Well, while Denison is very dead <laughs> downtown, they are working on it. Coming to Main Street in phase one. Yeah, so it looks like they have some big plans for this old historic downtown. But, um, yeah, it's not here yet. On a Saturday early afternoon, you see it. A few people walking around, but there's just nothing happening. I'm uh, on my way to Dwight D. Eisenhower's birth home. Yeah, you see a lot of this. Abandoned buildings here in the area. This used to be a Kroger. But it just sets empty now. A little bit of blight in the city. All right, I'm very near his uh, birth home, Eisenhower's. Kind of an interesting drive. Visit Eisenhower's birthplace. Okay. See what the neighborhood he was born in looks like. David Eisenhower, President of the USA, birthplace. Okay, we're almost there. Hmm. Well, this looks like uh, this is it right here. Get out of the car and get on foot to actually get up there. Welcome to Eisenhower Birthplace State Historic Site. He was born in uh, 1890. A lot of the buildings around here look like they are still standing, including this the visitor center and museum shop. But his house is up here in this direction. It's a big statue of Eisenhower here. Dwight David Eisenhower, 1890-1969. That's his house right there. We'll get closer in a second. Let's just take a look of the area around it. It's an early Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's really quiet. 
it's really hot though again it's i think 102 103 right now this is the house that eisenhower was born in 1890 Let's see if i can look in the windows yeah the front door's locked so i uh can't get in but this is what you look at or walk into uh, at the front door yeah it looks like maybe it was a sitting room and directly to the right of the front door is this room uh, it's a bedroom obviously but I'm looking at a window in the back of the house it's a dining room I'll go over to uh, or in this direction I think we'll see the kitchen yeah very small isn't it the kitchen so I'm behind the house now in the back of it take a look at the neighborhood Just a small little white house. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing the uh, upper floors, but um, I guess it's closed today. There's nobody here. And yeah, we've got some houses over here. Well, I'm going to get in the uh, Bronco and take a look at some of the neighborhoods right here in the vicinity of his home. Now I'm driving on the other side of that fence from Eisenhower's house. I'm going to check out the neighborhoods a little bit. Over here. Yeah, there's Eisenhower's birth home right there. I'm on the other side of the fence, so uh, I'm going to see what it looked like. The neighborhood that uh, our 34th president grew up in. Some of these houses look like um, they were standing then. for unleaded yeah we haven't seen that in a long time well six months maybe I don't think those gas pumps work <laughs> it's hard to find it under five dollars now yeah driving through this town it really feels like um, the clocks turned back 50 60 years it mostly just looks like this This house here is absolutely beautiful. Looks like it's for sale. It hasn't been kept up. The paint is peeling. But, um, yeah, make sure I got the camera on it. Look at that architecture. That is a work of art. It's a damn shame it's in this condition. Hmm. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, we've got some beautiful old homes here. That's yeah, something. Those should never be torn down, ever. Across the street, too, looks really nice. 
Well, okay, I'm going to uh, end the video here. Uh, it was not going to be a long one. Just something to do while my wife is out of town. She's in Philadelphia for a family emergency. I've always wanted to take a quick look at this town. But anyway, um, we will be going to some really interesting places here shortly. Uh, Tupelo, Mississippi, the birthplace of Elvis. I'm going to explore that. Lynchburg, Tennessee, birthplace of Jack Daniels. And uh, quite a few small, smaller, let's say, places that are really interesting. So um, those videos will be coming up really quickly. Uh, we'll be heading out of town here in a day or two. So, uh, yeah, be looking for them, and we'll see you then.